And we begin with this. Just a short time ago, Caleb Sharp spoke in court ahead of his sentencing scheduled for this afternoon. Almost five years ago, he killed one classmate and injured three freshman girls. And today he addressed his actions on that day for the very first time. We want to play this now for you, the entire statement. Here it is. I spent a lot of time thinking, what exactly would I say when I did get a chance to speak? Now that I'm here, I can see clear as anything that it's really only one thing I can say. And that's I'm sorry. I'm sorry to this entire community. I'm sorry to every single person I forced PTSD upon. I'm sorry to all the people who can't go out in public anymore. I'm sorry to the people who can't sleep at night in fear. I'm sorry to everybody who I stole their innocence and high school experience. I'm sorry to Gracie, Jordan, and Emma for the scars on their bodies and their minds that I can never erase or take back. And most of all, I am sorry to Amy and Emily for taking Sam from them for a I know these are just words, but I do mean them. And to that effect, I live my life. I used to live for myself, seeking what was good for myself, but that day showed me the true cost of evil. Everything that this community had to pay, that my own family had to pay, And from that point on till now, evil has no place in my heart. Not after I saw that price. I don't live to myself anymore. I can't. I owe this community, this entire courtroom, so many outside of it, so much more to be better and do good and live for that good only. And I know in using that word owe that I can never repay, never do enough penance to take back or pay back what I've taken. But my faith sustains me, and I pray for forgiveness as God himself does forgive me. Thank you, Your Honor. And again, hearing from the Freeman High School shooter addressing the judge and his victims ahead of his sentencing. We expect the judge to hound down that sentence today at about 1.30 this afternoon. CREM2 News is inside the courthouse and we will send an alert on the CREM2 app as soon as that sentence is announced. The sentencing hearing has already lasted several days and yesterday brought some of the most emotional testimony as we heard from the victim's parents. CREM2's Amanda Rowley brings us the heartbreaking day in court. These five-year-old girls playing soccer grew up together in Freeman. Jordan, Emma, and Gracie's parents cherish the joy captured on their faces, but they say the photo captured more than just the beginning of their friendship. Little did we know how connected these three would be for the rest of their lives. Little did we know that on this day, nine years later, they would be involved in a horrific act. It was their freshman year at Freeman High School when 15-year-old Caleb Sharp opened fire on his classmates. He shot and injured these three childhood friends. The fact that Gracie survived is remarkable. The fact that she can walk is a miracle. Emma's mother recalls the text she got from her daughter learning the unimaginable. It was right next to me. I got grazed by a bullet right above my hip. You took so much from her, Caleb. You took her innocence. You extinguished her jovial personality, her ability to enjoy life without fear. On that tragic day, the gunman killed Sam Strahan. His mother, Amy Strahan, told the judge that same year her husband had just died. As Sam's only living parent, I feel very strongly that it's up to me to ensure that Sam is remembered for who he was. She says the last five years have been the hardest and darkest of her life. You ruined my life. You took my only son and left Emily and I alone. You are a coward. She told the judge how she raced to the school to find Sam, 
worried that he wasn't answering her texts. When the sheriff told her what happened, she screamed. I insisted someone go and sit with my child. I did not want him lying alone in the hallway. This afternoon, Amy spoke directly to the shooter. You had a choice to shoot Sam once and he would have survived. You chose to shoot him again. You, you took my son in the worst way possible and you had zero remorse. The victims and their families asked the judge to give the maximum sentence of 45 years. And as we mentioned, the judge is expected to deliver that sentence coming up at about 1.30 this afternoon, so just about an hour and a half. So be sure to download the CREM2 app and turn on push notifications. We will let you know when the sentence is announced. Then, of course, we'll be carrying it on CREM2 News tonight at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock, again, with more in-depth coverage of this ongoing case.